friends welcome to my video in this video we will see what is android devices streaming powered by firebase option in android studio so as per their documentation this is what they say so android device streaming powered by firebase is nothing but it provides a secure and direct adb uh, which is basically the uh, virtual emulator to run your android apps on any of the android devices so they give lots of options and that can be used to debug and interact with our app so but this is a uh, in beta phase of course and this is also a paid service it's not a free service for some minor uses free uh, we'll see everything in this video uh, how, how to start and what are the services uh, they offer and what are the options for we have got so let me quickly start my project anything uh, new and i'll keep the project quite simple so it's good here android device streaming demo app and rest of things i will leave it as it is and click finish and wait for the environment to load i am pausing it and i will re uh, resume once the environment loads uh, perfect once the environment loads this kind of window will come up so first and foremost i will show you what's that option what i am talking of so if you go in the right inside in the device manager and then here you will get a new option over here configure device streaming project so just click over here and this is what i was speaking of so this is a streaming service and uh, this is to secure that adb uh, access basically android uh, debug release, uh, which is all the emulators possible and here they've given the list of the emulators so you, you can see it's a quite a comprehensive list like it uh, right from pixel 5 to pixel uh, 9 and 4 also and it also gives for other manufacturers like lenovo and samsung so quite a good amount of list and we'll see the okay so you may have to log in uh, to your uh, google account for the first time you're uh, using it so it will ask you to log in over here since i've logged in so it's giving me the option to choose a project so i have a few projects so i think first i'll show you the first project which i was trying a uh, uh, few minutes back and it should give me the amount of users so around 107 minutes okay 120 minutes was the free version so okay let's see the pricing details now so let me click here Perfect. So this is the pricing details of this. So if you see, it starts from June 1st, uh, 2024 and so right now in the promotional period for next, I think, six to seven months. And in that period, it's giving uh, 120 minutes for no cost per project per month. Okay. Uh, either you are in a Spark plan or Blaze plan, either. But from Feb uh, 2025, next year onwards, it will, uh, they'll reduce it. Uh, but it still, they will give some free minutes for uh, students or for people who just quickly want to try it out as a trial. But after that, after 30 minutes, uh, they will uh, uh, start charging. So you have to move to Blaze Plan. If you are in a Spark Plan, of course, you can't use it because there is no payment option there. Perfect. So let me go back to my here. So that's my pricing. So right now, I'm in, in the free version. Uh, anyway, I'm just demonstrating the first nutin. So I've used uh, from this project. Probably I'll go to some other project where I have not chosen. So from Programmer World, this particular project I have not chosen. Uh, oh, I have not used it. So it should show 0, 0. Yeah, that's what. Perfect. It's showing. So I think one of the workaround could be you can create I think up to eight or ten projects so you can uh, toggle between those projects and this should be good enough for any of the uh, beginner. Okay, so uh, now in this project uh, probably we'll choose any one of the emulator to start. Say for example I choose this one and click OK. So Pixel 8 uh, and API version 34 and it will come in your list of this. So if you see this is remote, this here my locally installed and once you start. So the device are reserved for 15 minutes and count towards a spark plan, free plan. Uh, when you end your so it reserves for 15 15 minutes uh, blocks. And yeah, you can click yes. And if you go to the running device, it should come over here uh, in a while. Uh, perfect. So this is my uh, remote ADB or uh, emulator has come up. So this is running directly from my uh, this one uh, Google 8 and you can also always go and check how many minutes are used and how many minutes are free so you can always click on this uh, tiny button it will come up so it's 15 minutes use and uh, 15 minutes is a reserved one okay so no need to panic it's just a couple of minutes back when I have started but it will uh, reserve it in a, a uh, block of 15 minutes so even if I close early it will just count like 2 or 3 minutes uh, towards my total uh, 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 account amount Anyway, so I'll not uh, spend much time here. So let me quickly jump to the coding now. And uh, I'll keep it a very simple code. So what I'll do is I'll probably use this uh, text view to print something. 
so I'll give it some ID and then I'll add a button probably button probably I'll do one thing I'll just add a counter option here so I'll name this button as counter and give this some constraints then go back to my Java code let me pause and quickly complete the code the code is pretty simple so give me a minute uh, perfect so I've done the coding and let me just quickly explain the lines I've added. So this is the one line I added uh, to, to define the class variable text view and then uh, taking the this particular widget over there, text view widget, assigning it to the local variable, class variable. And in my button uh, counter, I'm assigning a integer value in type. And then I will, okay, I think I should have taken this also as a class variable, not over here. So let me do one thing. So private. Enter. Okay, and then in the counter, I'm just whenever it's placed, it's adding uh, plus plus i, and then that's getting printed into text view. So the only thing remaining is I should go back here in the counter button. I should assign that in the on click attributes. So that's all. Now I can run it in that this Google 8 pixel, uh, which is the remote one, and uh, you will see this our app will get installed. So right now, if I go and see the list of all the apps, so our app is not there. Our app name is Android device, so it should come on the start because it's mostly alphabetically uh, uh, arranged. Uh, so let's wait for a while and we should see an icon over here with our uh, this app, Android device streaming demo app. And then that will act as a counter. So let's give it a minute. Okay, perfect. It came up and even loaded. So if I start, okay, it's closed. Uh, okay, so it's crashing again and again and I think uh, after checking the code, I think the mistake is here. Uh, it should not be integer, it should be string. And if I can now rerun, so let's see what happens. So this code looks good to me. Uh, perfect, so if you can see now, it's coming. Uh, okay, I, I'll zoom it probably. And it's coming over. So anyway, the idea of this... Uh, uh, it is not to show the functionality of the counter, but uh, it's more to focus on the how to use the Android device streaming. So if you see almost like, okay, it is reserved for 15 more minutes, it will go in the chunks of 15 minutes as I told, like so, so first 15 minutes go on, since I had to look at the code and all. So, but yeah, all uh, this is the concept. So you can use the online um, uh, emulator if you don't want to have that much of resource in your local PC and all, and if you want to use different kind of um, emulator very quickly without installation and all then this is one of the very quick workflow so i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put it in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to our channel thank you and have a nice day bye